Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on finding the least squares regression line and the product moment correlation coefficient. This will be using the Casio class whiz. So we have a set of paired variables here, X and Y, and eight bits of data ranging from A to H. And what we need to do is to find the equation of the least squares regression line of Y on X for part A, and then for part B, find the value of the product moment correlation coefficient between X and Y. Right, we're going to use a statistics mode to help us out with this one. So it's menu and then six for statistics. Now we have a pair of variables here, X and Y, and the relationship between them is, in this case, linear. And that tends to be the most common type of relationship that you have between Y and X. Now the class whiz is capable of helping you with the regression questions with quite a varied amount of relationships between X and Y. But we're just going to focus on the linear relationship that we have here. So it is choice two from this menu. And you can see that we've got our input here for X and Y. Now you can go ahead and start inputting that. I just want to comment on if you have a frequency column here on the right hand side, you've got two options really. You can either choose to ignore it. It'll automatically fill in a one each time just to represent that we've got one of each variable A to H here and that will be fine. Uh, but if it does bother you, you can switch that off by going into shift setup. And if you navigate down to statistics, option three here, and then just turn frequency off. Obviously, just go back in there and switch that on if you need it for a future question. Fill in the two columns of data as shown. It's easiest to work your way down the X column. And then if you press down, you actually automatically go back up to the top. There's a little shortcut there rather than scroll up eight lines and then just move across to column Y and fill in the data for that. So once you've inputted the data, you need to press option. And what we're interested in here is option four from this menu, regression calc, option four. And you can see that we've got A, B and R. Now for part A, we need to find the least squares regression line of Y on X. And basically we can write out the equation for the line that we have actually displayed on the class with here, Y equals A plus B X using the two results that we've got. So I'm going to round these to two decimal places. So I'm going to say Y equals 380.99 plus 3.37 X. And there we go. That's our least squares regression line of Y on X. And for part B, well, we've already found the value of the product moment correlation coefficient. It's this R value that we have at the bottom here, 0 0.151, let's say to three decimal places. That is the correlation coefficient that we need for part B. Now that should be a value between negative one and one. And we can see that our value is quite close to zero there. So that would suggest very little correlation between the two variables that we have there, X and Y. So there we go, how we can input uh, statistics from a table into statistics mode and easily find the least squares regression line and the product moment correlation coefficient using the Casio class whiz. That's it for this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time on the calculator guide.